Hi right, folks, this is Max from GalaxyNote2Root.com. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, install a new custom ROM on your Galaxy Note 2. Uh, first thing you'll need to do is go ahead and download the ROM. It's usually either one file or two files. All right. Usually one file, if you're downloading like a CM10, Signage Mod 10, AOKP, those ROMs, you might have to download two files, the first one being the ROM and then the second one, uh, GFs, which stands for Google Apps. So go ahead and download all the necessary files you need for the custom ROM you're installing. And also do make backup of your ROM uh, at least once. If you haven't, um, go to my site, galaxynode2root.com, hit the FAQ, there's directions on how to backup your ROM. And also, uh, go ahead and make a backup of all of your apps and data using Titanium Backup App. Again, if you don't know how, go to my site, hit that FAQ button. And also, if you want to backup your SMS text uh, messages, go ahead and download SMS Backup and Restore App uh, from Play Store and just hit that backup button. Very simple. Open it back up and then you just have to reinstall that app when you install the custom ROM and hit that restore button. And also for contacts, um, just use Gmail. If you don't use Gmail, uh, go ahead and make a dummy account because with Gmail, if you have contacts um, and with a Gmail account on your phone, it's going to automatically back up your contacts and when you sign in to um, Gmail after installing the new ROM, it will restore all of your contacts. So I think I've covered most of the bases um, and also there's a feature you can use under settings um, for like Wi-Fi passwords and stuff. Go to backup and reset. You can back up your app data and Wi-Fi passwords through Google servers. I don't like to use this, but that's also an option uh, if you want to use that. All right. So that got uh, you know um, after you know. Let's go to the next part. Sorry. So go ahead and download the ROM and go ahead and copy it over. Let's go actually copy over the ROM together here. So I'm going to connect it to my computer via micro USB and copy the file over. So for this example, I'm going to be uh, installing this ROM called SpaceX ROM. So I've downloaded the ROM. It's about 740 megabytes. And also you can download it straight to your phone. It'll be in your downloads folder if you download it straight to your phone. Um, for this ROM, it's just one file. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy. And then I'm going to copy it into my phone. There we go. Uh, for some reason, it wasn't showing up. So I disconnected and connected it back. So I'm going to go copy it in anywhere. You can copy it anywhere. I like to put it in my download folder. I'm going to copy the ROM over. And uh, usually ROMs are about six, 700 megabytes. Um, you know, you can download it on your computer. It's a little bit faster to download because some of, sometimes these are very long files. Uh, you know, I, I do both. Sometimes I download it on my phone. And, uh, you know, either way. And uh, sometimes there's two files, like I said, there can be a, a spacex.zip and some kind of gfs blah blah.zip. Basically, uh, for those, you just have to install the ROM first and then the gfs. And also, sometimes there's add ons like, you know, ROM developers put like special themes that you can flash as a separate zip file. And also, another note do not unzip this file, copy it as is. Um, so, do not unzip. And uh, a lot of the Macs, you know, they might try to uh, unzip it automatically. Um, do not do that and copy the actual zip file over because that's what we need. All right. So this is almost done and it's done. And then let's let's go to go back to our phone. All right, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and reboot into Clock for my Recovery. Now I I assume that you have a rooted phone. Um, if you don't have a rooted phone, again, go to FAQ on my site galaxynote2root.com show you how to do that exactly. Go ahead and turn your phone off and then we're going to boot into Clock Refine Recovery. Uh, once your phone is powered off, we're going to simply hold down volume up, center button, and the power button. And this will enter you into Clockwork Mod Recovery. All right. And you can let go when that happens. Um so this is Clockwork Mod Recovery. Like I told you, you should have made a backup ROM. If you didn't, you can go to Backup and Restore right now. And uh, most ROMs will require you to do wipe data factory reset. That will erase all your settings, all your apps, all your contacts. That's why I told you to use all of those things to back it up. Um, you can try without if it's like a TouchWiz based ROM. Um, but I, I highly recommend you do a wipe data factory reset because that kind of wipes everything and makes sure the custom ROM um, gets a fresh start because sometimes you get a lot of force closes. 
you, if you're experienced, um, you can try without. But for those of you noobs, uh, back up everything and go ahead and do wipe data factory reset. And also, if you did back up your ROM, you should have a backup of it. So even if you do wipe data factory reset and you forgot to back up your apps, you can restore your ROM and then back up your apps and then do all this again. So anyway, first thing you want to do is wipe data factory reset, hit the power button, and then say yes. All right, and also this will not erase the contents of your your uh, you know internal storage or SD card, such as personal photos or videos. All right, and you should get the message data wipe complete. Uh, don't worry about the external because it's not supposed to you know format it anyways. And uh, go ahead and do, go to install zip from SD card. Hit the power button. Uh, choose zip from SD card or external SD card. Um, it's mostly going to be on your internal SD up here but sometimes you might have copied it uh, to your you know SD card separately then you can choose that so I'm gonna go to and choose it from SD card which is my internal go to my download folder that's where I just copied it and there's my ROM SpaceX hit the power button and say yes and this will start installing the ROM and uh, if you get some kind of errors down here uh, most likely one um, you, your download was bad sometimes it happens one out of every like hundred you can get a bad download um, two you can get like an error seven message uh, that's usually if you're it's usually if you're installing like CM10 and your recovery doesn't support it um, you can get around that by installing the correct recovery uh, and by the time you see this video and by the time you see that error there should be a, a clockwork mod recovery you can install with ROM manager so make it easy so this is SpaceX ROM by PTMR3. He used to make he he makes very good ROMs for the T-Mobile Galaxy S2, um, but uh, this is his first ROM on the N7100. Uh, so I'll be back when this is done, and we're gonna reboot and make sure everything's working. Um, so I'll be back. Now let me add one more thing. If there's another file, then all you have to do is the same thing as I did to choose the SpaceX.zip but choose the G apps. You don't have to do the, the data factory reset. You only have to do that once before installing everything. Also, you can try skipping it. Um, you know, you, that will allow you to keep your settings and apps, but it's not guaranteed that the custom ROM will run all right. So that's what I'm telling you. All right. So when that's done, that's also complete. I ask you to do one more step, go back, and this is kind of important. Go to white cache partition. And also, if you're gonna, if you have additional files, go to install zip from SD card, and go ahead and install the files you need. You know, and uh, go to go to uh, backup and restore. No, sorry, go to advanced. No, no, sorry. Um, after you do that, you can do wipe cap cache partition. This usually makes sure this is just wiping temporary files, and this just makes sure your phone uh, will boot correctly the first time. So go ahead and do that. That'll wipe cache, and uh, you can reboot now. Now also you can use this install zip from SD card option to install kernels. For that, you don't need to do wipe data factory reset. No wipe data factory resets needed for kernels. Same thing as ROMs uh, or any zip flashable files. And when that's done, go ahead and reboot system now, and you should be on the new new ROM. And uh, that's how you install a new custom ROM. And the reason why I made this video is because, you know, I don't want to make an installation video. Um, you should just learn it, how to do it once, and then you'll be able to install all the other ROMs. And if you have any trouble, always check the FAQs on my site, galaxynote2root.com. There's a F Note 2 FAQ at the top. Uh, that link has all the basics you need to know. And if you're a noob, just, you know, watch all the videos, you know, all the tutorials, or read all the tutorials. Just know what you're doing then you'll be all set to go and you won't have any problems so that's the boot up animation for the SpaceX ROM I don't know what's what it even looks like this is the first time actually uh, installing it that's why I'm recording this video and uh, we should be almost done here and I'll be back when this boots up now sometimes sometimes some ROMs cause boot loops and if that happens um, you can go ahead and restore your ROM or install another ROM that's why I told you I told you like a thousand times to make a back backup ROM because that will restore your phone if you need it now you have an important call coming in an hour 
then you can restore your phone to uh, whatever it was before get your phone working um, so do make a backup ROM you know hey folks so after a minute or two um, it did boot it usually takes about five minutes at, ma at max um, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign in I skip all this so once you get to the the screen here you should be all good to go and uh, that means I've successfully installed a new ROM and now you can go ahead and sign in to Gmail to get all your contacts back go ahead and download titanium backup app um, to restore all your apps and there we go so I've got awesome beats now uh, Walkman which comes with this ROM and go to settings uh, about device you can see I've got SpaceX ROM anyway that's how you install a custom ROM on your Galaxy Note 2 if you have a Galaxy Note 2 as always don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, galaxynote2root.com we update you once a week with ROM of the week tips hacks and more and also it's a great way for you to get in contact with me and others if you have trouble with your phone and uh, if you're on YouTube did I say that hit that like button and subscribe button <laughs> sorry it's been a long day um, anyway thanks you guys stay high on Android and uh, yeah, that's it. See y'all later.